Australia. He has authored two books on discipline and student learning. Uh, he has also uh, founded the ITEP program, the International Teacher, Islamic Teacher Education Program online, which he ran for a few years and there are many graduates present here, alhamdulillah. And uh, now he is working at the ITEP at the University of Southern Adelaide and he has also started a Facebook page for Islamic educators. Dr. Mdeen, welcome.
but you should feel free to speak in Urdu if you'd like, uh, ask questions, discussion, and engage. I can, I, I can understand most of, some, I should say, some Urdu, enough to at least get by, and I might ask you to translate. But feel free to ask questions and engage in Urdu, and my apologies, I'll try to throw in a few Urdu words every once in a while, more for comical relief than for your benefit. Some people are smiling. Maybe some sisters are smiling too. It's supposed to be a joke. It's early in the morning in the Juma, so it's supposed to be like. Okay. So, um, this, I, I don't know if this, oh yeah, no, this is not working out. Okay. So, the outcomes for today. Um, we're hoping that you leave with a few key things. One is a definition of engagement and disengagement important for us to not just define engagement, but what is disengagement. Secondly, key principles of student-centered learning. And thirdly, five, maybe let's take three. Three responses from your end first. E either a why or takeaway. What would you like, why are you here in relation to engagement? Or what would you like to take away in relation to student engagement? Engagement is the process of interaction, attention, uh, attraction, involvement, interest, motivation, encouragement, and decision. And I want to take away the uh, possible learning uh, ways and applicable ways to engage a learner in their learning. Okay, thank you. Another sister from your side? On your left and, and disengage on, on your right. No, sorry. My left. Sorry. Your right. Engage. Engage. Your right. And your left. Disengage. And middle. You're still pondering. I can see you. Okay, so you remember the exercise, you turn to somebody or a few people beside you and say, why are you standing here? I'm 
Sisters, hopefully you're getting around, um, walking around and reviewing other, other uh, personas.
if we're going to take it seriously, we need to consider what this means. And that's why I kind of gave the theory. The theory, I think, is it helps ground us of these ideas of push out and drop out, of deficit thinking, of, um, uh, of life worlds, uh, funds of knowledge. Because when you have these ingrained in your mind, you'll start saying to yourself, now, now that I believe in this, but if you, you know, if it resonates, sorry, the brothers are still trickling in, but that's okay. I think we can't, uh, can't afford to wait much longer. So, inshallah, let's get started. Um, this uh, this workshop, uh, this afternoon workshop, is on the topic of making Islamic studies relevant. Um, probably a very, very timely and important conversation to be had uh, in our schools. And as for those of us that came yesterday, uh, we're talking about curriculum mapping. This is the, this is inshallah the workshop where a lot of what we did discuss yesterday in, in relation to pedagogical aspects can be discussed today in relation to Islamic studies. Um, the overview that I've outlined for today's workshop, this afternoon workshop, is that amongst the most common criticisms by students in Islamic studies classes globally is that they feel disengaged. Um, empirical research, studies that, that have actually gone and spoken to schools and students, have found that students in Islamic studies often, uh, that students feel Islamic studies does not respond to the issues and problems they face, and that content taught does not connect to their overall learning. In short, students are increasingly becoming concerned about the relevance of Islamic studies. And as with all subjects, a significant responsibility falls on the shoulders of us make learning relevant. So this workshop is going to focus on trying to unpack this. Right? Um, I, think, um, I think it's important I think, to, to acknowledge that student voice is critical as is teacher voice, and we're going to look at both uh, in this workshop. The outcome is really what we're trying to do is a critical analysis of Islamic studies teaching. Yesterday was a focus on Islamic studies curriculum. So we looked at curriculum mapping, we looked at curriculum documents, Today, we're looking at the actual pedagogical practice of the way we interact and study and, and, and teach. Uh, we'll look at some, some standards of, of, of instruction and we'll look at some practical approaches. And there will be some aspects of practical approaches, but really it's about what we can draw out from what students are asking for. I've mentioned this uh, a number of times, so I won't reiterate, but I think most of us have been to multiple workshops. So you know that you know the approach that I'm coming from. Uh, is there anyone, how many uh, sisters on the sister side are, have not, were not here yesterday or this morning? And some sister of America, if you can give me a count. Just by show of hands. And on the brother's side, anyone was not here this morning? Uh, three, four are not here in the morning, and some were uh, yesterday. Okay. On our side, it, was there anyone not here? Uh, I was not here yesterday, but I was doing it. Okay, a few of us. So just very quickly, um, part of the approach that I try to emphasize is nothing on your mind um, that you might have discuss. Also, as we're doing this, for those of you who did not attend this afternoon, uh, earlier this morning or yesterday, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I'll mention it again that I'll be I'll be speaking in English, but you should feel free to speak in Urdu if it makes you feel more comfortable. Uh, in our discussions, or even when I'm asking questions, I unfortunately just, my, my Urdu is not fluent enough for me to, to facilitate in Urdu. But, but you should feel free um, to speak in Urdu, I can understand it, generally. So another 30 seconds to write down one thing. One thing you'd like to take away, benefit from, a question you have, a concern, a challenge, issue. When you're finished, uh, does anyone need more time on the other side? Anybody need more time? Uh, 30 seconds? Anyone need more time? More time? You need more? Mm -hmm. Maybe, okay. Yeah. Any, you need more time? Or okay. okay, on the sister side, are you, has everyone finished? Sister Romero, can you just tell me if everyone's done or if they need more time? Yeah, okay, perfect. So. Uh, this is going to get fun. You need to take your sheet of paper and crumble it. Crumble it. This one? Yeah, the one you just wrote up. Take it, crumble it. All at the same time. Okay. 
Okay. Crumpling it. Some of us are still concerned about crumpling the paper. Make it into a ball. I think there was more written on that paper. <laughs> <laughs> was, I told don't use the same, don't use important paper, use scrap paper. Okay. Uh, once you've crumpled it, has everyone crumpled it? Can you hold it in the air so I can see it's crumpled? Crumpled? Some of us have crumpled sisters. Are you holding it in the air? We can't see you, but we're assuming you've crumpled it. Crumpled piece of paper. There's not a lot of hands in the air. Some people are still writing. Not an exam. Okay, once you've crumpled it, no, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. Everyone needs to have something in the air. Something has to be in the air. Sisters, paper in the air. Okay. Still a few more people writing. Sisters, are your hands getting tired being in the air? You're gonna throw the. It's a snowball. Throw the snowball at me because I'm Canadian. See if you can hit. Me. If you hit me, I won't be offended. Yeah, yeah. Throw, throw, throw it, throw it here in the middle, in the middle. See? Look how many of you are smiling. You get to throw a snowball. None of you hit me. You're smiling. See? Sisters, throw it in the middle at somebody. Maybe have a seat. 
and you get 10 minutes. If you haven't finished already, you'll get whatever's left when you finish. You might only get two minutes of chai break. We learned that we learned that the tape is only cleaning the ball, not cleaning off the tape. So that it is 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 so so that it is so that it is so so that it is so that it is so that it is so that it is and for those of us who are still finishing, you've got 10 more minutes, but it's using your chai time. I'll be the Looks like most of the brothers are back. Sisters, uh, <coughs> Sister Mary, give me an update. Are sisters back and ready? They'll probably tell me they're ready for 20 minutes ago. Sister, Mara. So, so, any other sisters? Uh, are, are, you, are you there? Ready to get started? Mic is on. Mic? Is the mic on? I can hear voice. <laughs> Is your mic on? Okay, sisters have left for the day. Gone. Right. What shall we do? They're going now. They're going now. So then no one's ready. Maybe someone is there. I can see the traffic. Okay, if so sisters are walking into the room, you can tell us when you're ready, please. Sisters, as you're walking in the room, you tell us when you're ready. Uh, 
um, why is it important, what are some strategies that you've used, and what are some strategies that you could use. And then we'll rotate to the next group, and then the next group, and the next group. So we've got about, we'll, the, the presentation that your group gives is really about five minutes. It's not meant to be a long lecture, but a five minute summary. And the benefit of this is, when we mentioned earlier, we're looking for strategies. What you'll notice as you go around is that we already have a list of strategies for the priorities that we've that the students have recommended. And we already have another list of strategies of things that we just devised as a group that we could use. So as you're going from group to group and listening, you should be leaving this room in less than an hour with at least 20 strategies. Some of which you used before, and some of which you just learned. So please, when you rotate groups, go with the mindset. Take a piece of paper if you want. But go with the mindset of, I'm going to listen to what's the priority, because we know the recommendations students have given us. We know the challenges. And now we've got a list of strategies that, that, we're, that we're thinking. So please, go with that mindset. We'll start on, for the brothers, we'll start on my right, with this group, and then we'll rotate that way. Uh, and sisters, if you can do the same on your side, um, and, and just go through that. And at the end, we'll just try to hear a few from the sisters and a few from the brothers. But at this point, for the next 20 minutes, we'll be on each of our own sides. Sisters, any questions? <coughs> Sisters, have you gone home again or can't hear? You can hear us. I'll assume that, that you got the instructions. I'm assuming that you heard, but if you didn't, or if it took this time. Self-help, self-help, and uh, society, yeah, generation gone. This is the connect and society. 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 This is the and the something and if you must now we see just go halal that they are good you must work and around that they I'm the example here is specifically prohibiting alcohol and drug the Islam you with joy sharp in a go alcohol go drugs go joy man up second question is why is it important to address the important is here okay subsequently a money is out for looks on the other eventually as a family suffer for the or eventually as a whole police society or my economic system is a factor और ये अभी जो प्रिवेलिंग इशू है आप जितने भी यूथ देख रहे हैं स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस यूनिवर्सिटी सब में ये चीज है बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ती जा रही है तो ये इंपॉर्टेंट है थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज एग्जांपल ऑफ स्ट्रेटजीज दैट वी हैव यूज्ड एक स्ट्रेटजी जो हम लोगों ने यूज की की थी वो ये थी कि स्टूडेंट्स को एक ओपन फोरम में डाल दिया डिस्कशन के लिए जिसमें वो ये डिस्कस करेंगे कि अल्कोहल से या ड्रग्स से क्या-क्या नुकसान है उनको कैटेगराइज दे दी पहले आप ये बताएंगे कि अपनी जात को क्या नुकसान होता है हमारी फैमिली को क्या नुकसान होता है सोसाइटी को क्या नुकसान होता है और एज अ होल इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम को क्या नुकसान होता है वो बच्चों ने खुद ही पॉइंट आउट कर दी क्या क्या नुकसान होता है फिर उसको लिंक कर दिया कि अगर अल्कोहल प्रोहिबिट है तो उससे हमारे कौन कौन से जो मकासद हैं वो वो पूरे हो रहे हैं तो बच्चे खुद ही उससे लिंक कर कर रहे थे कि हमारी हेल्थ भी इससे प्रोटेक्ट हो रही है हमारी वेल्थ भी प्रोटेक्ट हो रही है वेल्थ इवेंचुअली का बच्चा इस चीज ये शौक को पूरा करने के लिए कहीं से भी पैसे लाने के लिए तैयार था चाहे उसको चोरी करना पड़े डाका डालना पड़े कुछ भी करना फोर्थ इज क्या क्या चीज़ें और हो सकती हैं वो स्पेसिफिकली हमने इसमें डाला कि बच्चों को अगर हम जो एल्कोहल ड्रग्स रिहेप सेंटर होते हैं वहाँ का विजिट कराएँ ताकि बच्चे जो पेशेंट्स हैं उनसे डिस्कशन करें कि उनको क्या क्या जो है प्रॉब्लम आई है इससे कैसे कैसे इवेंचुअली इवेंचुअली गोल ये है कि बच्चों को इस लेवल पर ले आए कि वो ये समझ लें कि हम हर चीज़ का हर हुकूम का विजडम इस तरह ही लेके आ सकते हैं क्योंकि हमारा विजडम लिमिटेड है तो बच्चों को इस पॉइंट पर लेके आने के ये जो एग्जाम्पल्स हमारे पास हैं इनको लेके हम एक्सेप्ट कर लें कि जितनी भी रूलिंग्स हैं इस्लाम की चाहे हमें उसका विजडम समझ आ रहा है या नहीं आ रहा है देर इज़ अ हायर विजडम देर इज़ अ हायर पर्पज़ जो कि अल्लाह तक मालूम है हमारी सोच वहाँ तक नहीं समझ रही तो जो अल्लाह ने हलाल या हराम किया उसी को एक्सेप्ट आखिरी पॉइंट पे मैं ये कहना चाहूँगा कि उर्दू में जैसे कि कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें जो नाजिल की गई हैं कुछ ऐसी चीज़ें जो नाजिल या जाहिर नहीं की गई तो बतौर मसल है जो
है कि वाई तो दिस सब्जेक्ट इज डायरेक्टली रिलेटेड टू आवर डेली लाइफ स्पेशली इस्लामिक स्टडीज तो इसकी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन जो है बहुत हो गई है प्रैक्टिकली सुना के रोशनी में एंड मोर ओवर आर्ट बिहेवियर एंड तो प्रैक्टिकल इज वेरी नंबर थ्री स्टूडेंट वॉज वी हैड एन एग्जाम्पल जो कि हमने पहले से गुजर चुके हैं अगर सोना में हम बच्चों को कैसे नहीं आती है अगर जो बच्चा बैठ के पानी पी रहा है खड़ा होकर पानी पी रहा है हम सबसे पहले उसको प्यार से बताएंगे कि बेटा फ्री बैठो बेटा पढ़ो अपनी साथ उसके बाद आता है कि मजीदी अगर मौका मिले तो हम इसके लिए कैसी स्ट्रेटेजी बना सकते हैं उसकी एक एग्जाम्पल हमने लिखी अगर वो उसके जैसे बच्चे फाइट कर रहे हैं सारे से बच्चों की आपस में कोई फाइट हो जाती है तो बस फिर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल उनको आइसोलेट कर देंगे और जैसे किसी मौके में आता है अगर आप खड़े हो तो बैठ जाओ और बैठे हो तो आप लेट जाओ पानी पियो तो उसकी इस तरह के करके हम बच्चे को कुल डाउन करेंगे और वो इन शाला आइंदा उस पर उससे प्रॉफिट होगा
और आहिस्ता आहिस्ता जैसे जैसे उसके अंदर मेच्योरिटी इंक्रीज करती है बढ़ती है तो वो अपने इन तमाम प्रोसेसेस में एक्सीलेंट एक्सीलेंसी हासिल करता चला जाता है फिर उसको दूसरा ये है कि उसको मस्जिद का आदि बनाया जाता है मस्जिद का सेकेंड टाइम टू लिसन अबाउट तो अब वॉट दे वॉन्ट पीपल वॉन्ट टू ऑब्जर्व कि जो तुम पढ़ रहे हो जो तुम बोल रहे हो वो तुम कर ही रहे हो या नहीं कर तो उसका जो एक हमने किया कि जो एज है एक बच्चा है पंद्रह साल का अब वो क्या उसका नहीं और वो वो एक वो ये कह रहा है वाई आर वी वाई आर नॉट वाई आर वी नॉट अलाउड टू अटेंड दिस क्या थी एक एक सवाल ये तो अब इसका इसके बारे में इफ यू डोंट एड्रेस अगर इसको हमने जवाब नहीं दिया इसका तो उसके इम्पैक्ट क्या आ सकता है तो उस पर हमारे जो मेट्रो थे उन्होंने कहा कि आसन पर
And we shouldn't all agree because our contexts are different. Context is extremely important. Not just national context, but the context of where our school is, what the school's objectives and outcomes are, who the students are, and what their needs are. And the, the parents and the families who support the school. But what we do have is we have strategies that could potentially influence the way that we make Islamic studies relevant. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this sort of an exercise was far more effective than me standing here and telling you how to make Islamic study. Because if I gave you 10 steps, those 10 steps would not be relevant for 90% of them, most likely. Right? You'd sit here and write on the feedback form and say, that won't work for my school, that's not relevant to me. But by doing this, we had a chance to actually get into things that are relevant, and we got a chance to benefit from each other. My recommendation <coughs> is an exercise like this needs to be done in each of our schools. Where we, we first start with the argument, does Islamic studies need to become more relevant? And our teachers would likely say, yes. Anybody who is constructively critical and questioning themselves would say, yeah, I think I could improve. Here, um, really appreciate the, the comments to close. And inshallah, for those of you that are coming to the session tomorrow, we'll be here at 9 a.m. Uh, if you haven't registered, please do. So,